All right. Hey everyone, this is Josh Shoemaker here again, uh, joined with Dan Keenan uh, per usual. And today we're going to have a review video of the XL. So the XL uh, features the same nucleus core that was found in all the previous cell balls. This time, just kind of like all the balls coming out of the SPI factory now, it's going to be wrapped uh, in the AI core technology. This is going to help the ball get through the pins a little better and also kind of preserve um, those numbers across the 14, 15, uh, 16 pound line. So it's wrapped in the E-Trax uh, Ultra Solid Cover, um, which kind of from us throwing a little bit of some practice shots here, it seems like it's going to fit kind of just below that gem. Uh, it's still going to provide a ton of traction, but give you a little bit more overall shape. So right here, we're on the fresh bull roll house shot. They've kind of been tweaking some things. So right now, they seem like they're sparking pretty, um, or they're sparking pretty quick as soon as you get them right. So hopefully... We'll probably start a little bit further left and kind of use that shim to our advantage. Uh, I drilled my XL uh, with a four inch pin to pap uh, and a one inch buffer. So it's gonna kind of fit the top end of my bag when I need something uh, similar uh, traction wise to my gem, but uh, a little bit more shape down lane. Approaches feel a little bit, a little bit tacky today, a little humid in here, but I got around that one a little bit, and you can see it's still kind of blunted that friction right, which is what we like to see. So this is only my, my uh, maybe my fifth shot here with this, so it's digging in pretty quick still. Uh, I got to get some oil in the cover. So I did mine um, five by four by three. Uh, Kind of like Josh, you know, I didn't drill a gem line, but the reality line has been pretty good to me at the top of my bag. So again, I think this will just give me same kind of uh, dig, but a little more shape down lane. And again, they are hooking, so it's going to be do my best here to keep it in. All right, I'm going to go way left. <laughs> <laughs> Dang hooks. We try not to do that for the videos. Hmm. Try to show you, like, going up the lane and progress left, but they're sparking a little bit, so I think we're going to have to go... Uh, I'm going to have to go left with my ball speed pretty quickly here. Yeah, as much as I like what I'm seeing so far out of this ball, I, I got a chance to throw it a little bit in league uh, last week. Um, definitely for this shot here, I think it's going to be a little bit too much ball. Um, we'll get into our next video here with the um, the ion, and that was kind of a little bit more um, or a little bit better of a choice for the house shot here. Uh, I definitely see myself throwing this a lot more in the fresh, longer sports shot patterns. Um, we're gonna hop, go another one left here, and try to get out of this one a little bit cleaner than the last one. Not twirl it quite as much. There we go. Got that one a little bit better. Uh, move one and one left, and as you can see, it just kind of blended that friction right uh, pretty well there. All right. Three and two. I like. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and jump another two. Uh, dial the ball speed back just a touch. See if I can get it shaped to shape the same as that last one there. Probably dial it down just a touch more from there. Uh, it's definitely a pretty smooth early and round shape. It's going to offer you a lot of control. Um, again, like I said earlier, I think it's a little bit too much ball kind of for where I like to play on this house shot here. 
Um, but we're going to do our best with it today. So for me, this is kind of reminding me of the, um, of the idle up front, uh, but more shape down lane than the idle. Um, so I, I've been using the idles when I want a lot of control. Um, and I think sometimes I've been looking for a ball that isn't a big adjustment. I just want to see the ball shape a little more to get the 10 out or, um, so this seems to be picking in. I'm going to try and go right over that tracer down the lane. So yeah, I mean, this is... It definitely digs in in the front. It definitely digs through the shim, shapes through the shim. That's hard to do here. <laughs> so when I first took this ball out of the box, the first thing I uh, I noticed was it looked very similar to uh, an Alpha Crux, which is anyone's been around long enough to throw one of those, they know is one of the all-time greatest SPI balls. Um, I definitely think it kind of shares a similar idea where it's a stronger asim that still shapes a little bit but this cover is a lot stronger than something you're in an alpha so if you wanted something kind of similar to that i think this is going to be almost a step above it um but it kind of does remind me of when i first drilled my my first alpha back in probably 2016. uh so i'm going to stay in the same spot as i did the last time and just slow it down just a little bit more give it some more time to shape That was a little bit better. So I got that one of the friction a little bit faster than the last one. As you can see, it just kind of blends right off of it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to execute it. But what I'm going to do is go two more left, two left with my feet, open up my angles, and let it touch the friction more. Let's see if I can get it to blend. This is one I think if I don't execute, it's either a big four or a flat 10. I executed. You say it's nice when you, you speak about something and it does goes exactly to plan. All right, so before we get into some of the other comparison balls, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a big move, like five more left. Um, and you're probably not going to see this shape quite enough. If I can get it slow enough, it might. But I think we're already kind of into uh, the basically the limit of what this ball is going to be capable on this pattern. Uh, so yeah, so we'll go another four, four and two. Still trying to get it kind of the friction quicker. Spun that one a little bit. Um, as you see, I mean, I think it looked really good kind of from that middle middle zone, which I think is where it's going to look the best uh, for a lot of people. All right, I'm going to jump over because I already made my move left. Um, I'm going to switch over to my uh, harsh reality for a couple shots here. So I have my harsh reality, similar strength in the mass bias, but a, um, it's only a four inch pin, so stronger. Uh, I would expect this to be slower. So I'm going to bump back where I kind of where I started, and uh, I haven't thrown this yet, so we'll see what. Uh, Yeah, so that was a good four right and about two, caught two or three more in than my last shot. So definitely slower, but definitely workable off of each other. So for my first comparison piece here, I'll go with my reality. This is my 
third or fourth reality, I think I drilled the newest one. Um, it has a little bit weaker of a pin. I believe it's a five inch pin. And then uh, the buffer is also a little bit longer too. So this is gonna flare a little bit less. Um, I think this is probably gonna be a little bit cleaner, a little bit more forward off of the XL, but we'll go right to where I started with it. Yeah, so just kind of what I expected there. A little, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more forward. Uh, I think that ball is going to be a little bit more usable here as far as a fresh option is, where that XL just with flaring a lot more, the stronger layout and a little bit stronger of a cover. Um, won't be quite as much in play on the fresh here for me. All right, I'm just going to go two left with the harsh here and work my way towards where I ended with the XO. They're too good. They're toasty, they're right. <laughs> Couple left uh, with the reality again and get around this one a little bit more. Let's see if we can get it to shape a little bit better than that XL did from further left. Yeah, so that was exactly what I thought out of that one. Uh, it sees the friction, just kind of goes a little bit more forward, whereas that XL uh, had a little bit more shape from from that area. You want to throw your uh, XL right on top of what you just did? Yeah. I think. All right, so go back to that same spot here. Um, try to come around this one a little bit more like I did with the reality there and see if when it hits that friction down lane, if it keeps going a little bit better than that reality did. Yeah. Just right quick. Yeah. So that one was a little bit, right a little bit quicker than that reality, but as you can see, when it hit the friction, it it kept going yeah. off it, whereas the uh, original reality kind of hit that friction and went forward. Um, it also could be a little bit to do with the layout as well. <laughs> Good, how about you? All right. All right, I'm going to give you things. one more shot with the XL here. It's good. Yeah, we're just shooting some of the videos now for the new stuff. Supposed to be the last shot. Yeah, that uh, XL Again, try to get and then around the that trace down the lane. Got anyone you're getting rid of? No, not right now. Probably closer to the fall season. Yeah, I'll so let you know, though. I'm going to like this on the house type of stuff for sure. For me, uh, this is where mine and Josh's role is just that difference. Uh, you know, I need the stuff that'll that's smooth, but also has some motion. Um, again, on the sport patterns, kind of when my idols just stop getting the corner, but I still need that aggression that the idols give you up front. I'll just go to this to get that extra two or three boards of shape down the lane. Um, so, yeah, looking definitely looking forward to this being in the tournament bag pretty quickly. All right, and then for comparison's sake, I'll just throw one shot here of the gem. Um, I think this one's out of the, um, the original reality and the XL. Uh, I think this one's going to probably be the strongest, earliest, and most forward. Um, so I'll just go right ahead kind of where I'll go two left of where I started with the other two. Uh, and see what this one does. Oh, left. That one was left in the oil. Um, as you can see, that one picked up quite a bit earlier um, than the other two. Um, so if you guys are interested in this, uh, the release date was actually yesterday uh, on the 21st. So if you're interested in drilling up one of the XL for yourself, be sure to head over to your local Storm VIP Pro Shop and Get your own today.